Okay, y'all. All right, so, hmm, my husband wants to talk about uh, the phone and the privacy. Ladies, now, I know most of us, we don't put phone and privacy, those two words don't go together. Phone and privacy, no. Um, if we share everything else, we share them phones too. We share the phone bill, we share the light bill, we share the house, we share the bathroom, shit. When I'm sitting down doing my number two, you in the bathroom with me talking. Ain't no privacy. So why all of a sudden your phone gotta be private? Huh? 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 Explain that to me. I don't believe in the privacy thing. My husband, he has some wishes like, babe, I don't mind if you go through the phone, but can you at least uh let me know you're going through it? But I'm like, all right, I'll give you that. Cause you're not saying I can't go through the phone. You're just saying that you want to know that I got your phone. I got you. So I'll be like, babe, I'm going through your phone. Hey, he wanted to know. I, was like, I just told him I'm going through his phone. I'm just nosy, you know. Sometimes I just want to know, like, what's going on in my husband's life. Because we don't talk about everything. We talk about a lot, but he's not going to tell me every little detail. He might be like, babe, this girl from, like, 20 years ago, I swear I haven't said anything to her. But this whole, uh, he might not say her. But this girl, because I'll be like, this hoe. And he be like, I don't know, you know, they always pop up when something going wrong in their life. And I'm just like, alright. But now, me being the person that I am, I be like, let me see what this hoe say. Uh-huh. Yeah. Alright. And then I feel good. Like, I can go on with my life. Because now I just, I just had to get that curiosity out. And it's not that I don't trust him. I don't trust them hoes. I don't trust your nasty behind, home wrecking behind ass hoes. <sighs> but that's my only thing with the phone. I just don't trust these hoes. I don't have a problem with you and my phone. I don't talk to no men. I don't entertain no men. You wanna know what guys hitting my phone up? I got my brother, my cousin, um, the guy friends that I do have. I don't talk no one-on-one -on -one with no male friends. No, I don't even, men don't even got my number. I got a whole new number after I got in a relationship. That's how serious my issue is. I don't play that. I don't play that, so I don't care. You can go through my phone. You can go through all my apps. You can scroll through my pictures. You can look at my history, you can look at my cloud, whatever you need to do, it's open because I don't, what I'm, hi, what I'm gonna hide for? For what? So I think I, re I should receive that same respect. If I'm giving you that respect, you can't give me the same respect. Like, that's all I can say. I, I really don't have anything else to say on this topic. This is his topic. I know he gonna talk for a long behind time. So let his ass talk and see what the hell he gotta say. Cause the truth will come out when we get together. Ooh, we got a topic for you today. I picked this topic. Um, Cause A, I know me and my wife don't agree on this. B, every male I know, this is like, when we hanging out, drinking beers or whatever beverage you want, chilling, that is like the one topic that we always talk about that we just can't figure out. But I'll tell you a man's perspective, one man, singular. Uh, and I'll tell you how we overcame the hurdle uh, with me and my wife. So here we go. If this is my cell phone and I paid for it and I paid a bill, I shouldn't wake up at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning with you going through my phone. I'm going to say it again. If I pay the bill, it's my phone, I bought it, and it's 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, you shouldn't be sneaking on my phone. All right, because that's an invasion of privacy. But the real thing I think we're talking about is what it says to us is that you don't trust us. All right, and you may not trust us. <laughs> you may have a good reason not to trust us. All right, but I think the biggest thing for me is that you didn't ask me. But my wife is one of those people uh, that really feels very, 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 very 
uh, comfortable with going through your phone. Um, and I had to realize, you know, at the end of the day, I can fight her about going through my phone, or we can just set some ground rules for like what I feel comfortable with, what you're going through my phone. I'll tell you that our ground rules are this. You can go through my phone, my wife can go through my phone whenever she wants to. I hand her the phone, she can answer the phone, all the other stuff. All I ask is that she asks me. I'm not gonna say no, but it just makes me feel better because I feel like she's not invading my privacy that I gave her permission to. And when you get married, your person, your spouse is gonna have permission to all your stuff legally, whether you want it or not. And if you don't believe me, get a divorce and find out how much of your stuff that your spouse is entitled to. Trust me, your spouse is entitled to all your stuff. Uh, some would even say part of your soul. And I would recommend to anybody too, whether you're a dude, because I've been, I go through my wife's cell phone up front. I would say, hey, babe, I'm going through your phone. She'd be like, okay, cool. I go through the phone. All you got to do is talk to the person, you know, because the worst thing you can do is not have that communication. And then when they go through your phone, they see something they don't like and they interpret it their own way. You have those types of conversations because if you don't have those types of conversations, what happens is, like we said in the last episode, you allow space and time to get involved. So when you sneak, let me tell you the story, when you sneak on someone's phone, it's always when they're asleep or when they're not in a room. So first thing, you're creeping, you're trying to find the password. I've seen all the tricks, like women will get on here and they'll hold it up to the light and they'll see like where you push the buttons to try to see where your pattern is. Or to see like you got to swipe, they'll be like, okay. And what woman will find, will grab your thumb while you're asleep, put it on your phone so it opens up. The point is, when that stuff happens, now they're going through your stuff, you don't know what's going on. And then they're reading something and it could be bad or good. They may not even know who it is, but in their head, they're creating scenarios because you're like space and time. By the time they even get a chance to talk to you, it's not even a conversation, it's argument. You pr it probably would work. It's probably start something like this. Wake up, wake up. Who is? All right, my mother, my mother's name is saved as Nikki on my cell phone. That's her nickname. So I had a young lady who I used to date sit here, wake me up in the middle of the night, three o'clock in the morning, yelling at me. Who the hell is Nikki? And why are you telling me that you love her? And I'm like, who is she? I was like, why don't you call her and find out? No, why don't you tell me? No, why don't you call Nikki and find out? So she called Nikki at three o'clock in the morning. And guess who Nikki was? My mama. You know how silly that looks when you call my mom at three o'clock in the morning and then hang up and you realize it's my mom? And then she got mad at me. Well, why'd you save her as Nikki and not your mom? I was like, it don't matter what I say my mom name is in my phone, I can call her behemoth. She's my mom in my phone. Again, that's why you guys have to have those conversations. Always ask permission to go through someone's personal property. Um, it's, just, it's just the right thing to do. And if they say no, they say no. And that might be a deal breaker for you. So you know what you need to do? Hey, look, I can't deal with somebody that doesn't let me go through this because I feel like it, 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 it moves privacy away from me. This, just because of this, it's killed numerous relationships, countless relationships. And I'll say it's not really worth it. And I think it really is just shows a matter of trust between both parties. Because the guy probably feels like you don't trust him. Or he has something to hide. Or he feels like, you know, you're just invading his privacy. You're making him do something he doesn't want to do versus talking to him, you know, and trying to work out together. Because don't no guy make you have sex with him. And But also, a lot of y'all aren't in relationships, and you think you are. And that's why the person doesn't want you going through your phone. We just dating, you ain't going through nothing. Why? What you need to? We dating. I told you I'm dating other people. But you want to see what I'm saying to them? None of your business. Now, we exclusive, totally different. For fellas, this, this is advice to y'all. It's not about the phone. It's about you saying yes or no to opening up your life or part of your life to them. Um, I think that's 100% what it's about. Because a woman knows that you always got your phone with you. Always. All right, you got your cell phone numbers, you got contact, I got apps. You know the passwords, you, you could really probably destroy me. Um, but they know that when you give them access to your phone, you know, you're giving them access to a part of your life that's important to you in pretty much almost entirety. But when you say no, it's kind of maybe a shock to them because you're telling them, you're transmitting a message to them that says, we ain't really that deep. All right. And if for somebody who's really loving you and really, you know, feels like they're opening up to you, that, that may be something different. I think it's going to be interesting when we get her in the room. So uh, without further ado, that's my side. <laughs> All right, it's hot up here, y'all. <laughs> we got the preacher boy today. You know, you know what I'm saying? I hate my hands on you. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you. It's Easter, so I guess you, you know, oh, you, you jazzing it up already. a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm kind of freshening up for this, this special day. Bring it to church today. Thank you. <laughs> you know they got tambourines for your feet now? Really? They got this little tambourine. People like, don't do that. They don't want to see them feet. They don't want to see them feet. Oh, hell no. <laughs> y'all don't want to see them feet. Oh, <laughs>
We are kids. <laughs> My husband, I'm going to tell you some nasty stuff we done did. <laughs> it's privacy. I don't have, we don't got to agree. Let me hear your side. I don't, I don't have anything that I'm private about. I, I, invite, I invite my husband into every aspect of my life because he wants But no, nah, man, I mean, like, I just, like... I feel like, you know, we shouldn't be hiding stuff from each other. But how is it hiding? How is privacy if a, equipped if to a man, If a man is like, no, don't go to my phone. The phone's always face down. He's all, it's sacred. Like, like, this is my holy grail. Okay, my only point is this. It, it, everything takes time. You got to build up to everything. And I was making a point. I was like, some people think they're in a relationship and they're not. That's true. You know what I mean? Like, you asking some dude you hunching on. Oh, well, uh, yeah, you know about that hush. <laughs> he asking some dude that you hunched on to go through his, his cell phone. <laughs> like, uh, you don't even know him like that. He ain't gonna let you go through his cell phone because y'all ain't even cool like that. Oh, but we slept together. Y'all ain't even in a relationship. Guarantee you don't even know his real name. Guarantee. I understand that. Y'all not together. Y'all ain't make no commitment. Then don't go to his stuff. Don't go to his mail. That's illegal anyway, right? Going to someone's mail. You don't go. That, though. Don't, huh? I don't go through your mouth. You don't go through I my mouth. I don't go through your mouth. Like, because I don't go through your mouth. I always be like, you be like, babe, it's okay. Open it. Like, okay. No, so we go through each other's phone because we go through each other's phone. So it's not just me. He go through my stuff. Absolutely. And oh, my husband, when we first met and we first started talking, he was on Facebook. He went back years. Mm -hmm. He went through all of my pictures. Mm -hmm. Everything. Ever, everything. I was just following your example, baby. I'm just fine. I didn't go through all your stuff yet. Babe, you, you hit me up. He, had, you hit me. he no. did that way before I did it. You did it before I did it. No. You did it before I did it. And then I went through stuff. This is after the whole me, you know, I started leaving stuff at your house, like my toothbrush and stuff like that. <laughs> so, uh, when do you have privacy? When do you have rights to everything in your mind? We have rights to everything when you give me rights to everything. Okay, I kind of agree. With yeah, that. because for me, it's like, don't give me rights to everything and then be like, oh, this is an exception. What the hell was that? Like, how you gonna See, tell me, babe? Everything is yours. You can go through everything. We share everything. There's, I'm not hiding nothing. You give me this whole spiel, and then your phone, you're just like, accept this. You speak from experience. And then it's just well. like, That's no, no. I'm just saying, why just hide that? And then, the, and your phone is a, a portal to so many things in your life. It is a portal. I just like the word portal. <laughs> it's like going on the Odyssey or something. Like, you, know, you know, I'm a nerd, so you know, I gotta take it to you know, we about to go to the black hole and yeah. stuff. <laughs> you got all these different apps that reach out to all different aspects of your life. Everything like it's, it's it's so much that you can have in one little tiny device, and and it's just like you give me access to everything, including your bank account. And, you know, we share bank accounts, like all this stuff, and then all of a sudden, I can't even like go on your phone to see it. I'm just like, that's just so weird. So if you don't want me to see something that you already invited me to, what else are you hiding me from? That's I think it's, so, what I think is this, I think you're spot on, I don't mm -hmm. disagree with most of what you said, I don't disagree with most of it, there's a couple of things. Okay. I feel like there's a difference when you say, when she said, you know, when you are given permission. I don't think that happens, I think someone just goes through your stuff, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And that happens a lot, and that causes issues, because nobody likes anyone to just go through their stuff, you know what I mean? I was saying, like, you don't want me going through, like, if you saw me going through your panties, you know, like a pervert, you'd be like, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just going through your pants. Nah, I'd be like... That's kind of weird, right? I'd be like, you, you like that, huh? Like, you smell it, you sniff it? You ain't go to my underwear yet, have you? Okay. I'd be like... I just pick you up and put you on the shoulders. You like the... Do you want me to do baggies? 
I'm really my, my freaky. Name, anyway, <laughs> oh, girl, 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 oh, there's a video on the internet. It's hilarious. It's hilarious. You know, I'm freaky. Because like, oh. I wear these. Anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing more insulting, and I've been here, and not with, of course, not with this beautiful woman. Where I'm sitting here asleep, I hear someone going through my phone. I wake up and say, "What are you doing?" And they're like, "Oh, oh, I, was, I thought that was my phone." I'm like, "Come on, man! Just all you gotta do with me is ask, and, hey, I, and give I, me a, I've give me the choice there. to say yes or no." I've been in a relationship where a guy was yes going no? through my phone while I was asleep. I've been there and then woke up, woke me up and he left. I felt like the dude in a relationship, which that's kind of sad. I gotta say, is the dude in a relationship because I'm stereotyping now. But I was just like, really? You going through my phone? No, but see. I'm not stereotyping. You're speaking the truth. <laughs> oh, and another thing he did too, I'm on my phone on Facebook. He on my laptop on my Facebook to see what I'm doing on Facebook. And I've noticed like a lot of my a lot of my really close friends' relationships have ended because mm -hmm. of the phone. I mean, either either there was something they were hiding, all right, and the lady went through the phone and the truth revealed itself, or it was just that constant back and forth about the phone. Why not the phone? Why the phone? I mean, when you spend all your time arguing about something, you gotta realize it's important to that mm -hmm. other person. You just sit down and calm down a little bit and talk to them and, and say, why is it important? And then realize how important is it to you? Because yeah. my thing is, and I, and I told my wife, I was just like, look, babe, I don't really care. You want to look at my phone, look at my phone. I would like for you to ask me questions before you jump to conclusions about stuff, which you sometimes don't do. But either way, <clears throat> shame. But either way, you know, you have permission to go through all my stuff. Mm -hmm. And you just say, hey, babe, I'm going through your stuff. I'm like, okay, cool. And I say yeah, the same I thing. Hey, babe, I'm going through your stuff. She's like, yeah. okay, cool. You okay. have my phone. You be like, babe, just let you know I'm going through your phone. I do the same thing. Babe, I'm going through your phone. I may say no one day, and I may cross a question. But the reason I may say no because I may be trying to plan something for it. True. You never know. I mean, you know, being going through people's stuff like that, you sometimes ruin the ability for someone to give you a surprise. True. It a might not surprise. always be something bad. He could be like planning something, like the roses on the hour, every hour. You know. Mm -hmm. Just, you always go back to the same word. You're gonna say, communication. You yeah. got the communication. How did you say it? Communication. <laughs> you got the communication. <laughs> <laughs> but I know it can be hard. And, um, and yes, you are wrong when you sneak. And when you are sneaky and you up at night. And, and that light is shining bright as hell in your face. <laughs> ah, and, you, and you're just like. You hear like the spy music in the background. Uh, and, dun, dun, dun. and every little Brussels like that person make, you're just like. Oh, just don't great. put yourself through it. Just don't put yourself through it. Just be like, look, babe. You know, if you got spidey senses, be like, look, I'm feeling some type of way. Because I do it sometimes. I'd be like, babe, I'm feeling some type of way. And I don't know why I feel this way, but I just really want to go through your phone right now just so I can, like, clear these feelings. Yeah, and the most important thing is, fellas, man to man, if she's your woman, singular, you know, unless you guys got some, you know, polygamy stuff going on, that's mm -hmm. your business. I'm not here to judge your relationships. Uh, allow her access to it, because I'm going to tell you why. You're going to save yourself a lot of unnecessary arguing, a lot of unnecessary headaches. If you just sit down and talk to her, understand why she wants it, you know what I mean? And if it's something like shady or she's not your girl, remember she has to be your woman. You ain't sharing, mm -hmm. right? Um, because it saves you so much time because now she has access to things that you know she should have access to. Which is really just your text message. That's all I want to do. You want to go through your call ID and your text messages. Mm -hmm. It's not like she's going through your bank account stuff. And you got to protect that stuff. Um, but when you're married, and we're talking about marriage and how to get to marriage, those are things that you're going to have to talk about. Because mm -hmm. again, I did say this in the, in the thing too. I said, you know, a lot of fellas be like, well, that's mine. And I'm like, dog, when you get married, like if you think it's yours, mm -hmm. you lying to yourself. And I, I also said this, and I'll say it again. If you think it's yours, Get a divorce and find out how much of that is really yours. Mm -hmm. And you'll, if you're in America, you'll understand that, nah, bro, it's half and half, man. Mm -hmm. And it, it may be 80-20 <laughs> and not in your favor. You know what I'm saying? I That's want half, Eddie. Eddie, I want half. Eddie, I want half. <laughs> yeah. and just the thing about it, just make it easy on yourself because, A, what you'll do, and you don't even realize it's happening, too, is just do stuff like leave your phone at home. 
just leave it at home. You know what I mean? Especially if her girlfriend's around, just leave it there. Or hand, if your girl, girlfriend's around here, babe, go ahead and use my phone. You know how many brownie points you get well, amongst her and her friends? I'm like, like what? I'd be like, all I did, and all you did was give her your phone? I mean, I understand it's a, it's a certain part of your life and there's maybe things that you don't want her to see, like, you know, messaging between the bros and all that other stuff. Just tell her, like, hey, look, babe, hey, that, just stay away from that. I will, you know, and, and have a mutual level of respect to say, hey, stay away from that. It's private. That's between me and, you know, uh, eternity or me and family or something to that effect. You gotta, you talk about that. You know, be like, hey, babe, I don't want you to go on that account because I want, you know, whatever it is that you guys can come to an agreement about, come to an agreement about it. But, Again, you gotta communicate. It's know? just mutual respect. If I give you that respect, you know, you give it, back. You give it, give back. it back. That's it. But I also tell you, fellas, don't fall for no games either. All right, because not some females is just slick. They'd be like, yeah, you can go through my phone. All right, listen, we ain't nobody dumb. We ain't teenagers. Mm -hmm. You got fake names for people and all this stuff. It ain't mm -hmm. hard to figure it out. Putting right. them under their it, email it, friends. It, 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 it ain't hard to figure it delete, out. Delete and you'll delete everything first before yeah. you give the person the phone. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Let me go through everything. Mm -hmm. You're like, damn, this is pretty clean. Yeah. Like, you know, and it is what it is because sometimes, and it may have been coincidental. Maybe you just really deleted your stuff at that time. Who knows? But just make sure that y'all can agree and don't let this ruin this. All right. <laughs> so that's all I got, guys. Um, hopefully, I helped. Made me think a little more confusing. But. uh this has been his side. Her side and, and the truth. truth.